Hello, my name is Nathan Taylor, otherwise known as Sockmatician, and this is a video tutorial to accompany the Sockmatician's Double Knitted Brioche ebook. This particular video shows you how to work the blip free, right leaning, crossed double decrease with setup. As you can see, I've already worked the de double decrease setup in the previous row, and I've come back to the point where I've got my three adjacent knit stitches sitting under their one shared yarn over followed by my three adjacent purl stitches sitting under their one shared yarn over. And this is how it's done. Starting with my knit coloured yarn at the back of the work, going over the top of the right needle and my purl coloured yarn to the front of the work, I slip one stitch with its shared yarn over together and knit wise from the left needle to the right. Slip just the shared yarn over without any stitches, also knit wise back from the right needle to the left Slip a second stitch with the shared yarn over, also knitwise, from the left needle to the right. Once again, slip just the shared yarn over without any stitches, knitwise again from the right needle to the left. Then slip a third stitch with the shared yarn over, knitwise from the left needle to the right. Slip these three stitches with their shared yarn over together and purlwise from the right needle to the left. Slip two stitches with the shared yarn over together and purlwise through the back legs. So that's going round the back here and going in under the shared yarn over and into the back of those two stitches like so, and slipping them all over from one needle to the other. And then I'm going to slip the shared yarn over on its own, purlwise through the back legs over to the left needle. Then I'm going to slip the third stitch with the shared yarn over again, purlwise through the back legs from the left needle to the right. Then I can slip all three stitches with the shared yarn over together and purlwise back from the right needle to the left. Then using my knit coloured yarn, I'm going to knit these three stitches together with the shared yarn over, just a standard K3 tog but with that extra yarn over strand as well. Then I'm going to do my yarn over manoeuvre, taking the pearl coloured yarn to the back of the work over the top of the right needle and bringing it to the front coming between the two needles. Then I bring the knit coloured yarn to the front of the work also coming between the two needles. Then I'm going to slip two stitches together with their yarn over, together and knit wise from the left needle to the right. Then I'm going to slip the yarn over on its own, knitwise, from the right needle to the left. Then I slip the third stitch with the shared yarn over, knitwise again from the left needle to the right. Then I can slip all three stitches with the shared yarn over together and purlwise from the right needle to the left. Then all I need to do is going in purl wise and through the back legs, I'm going to purl all three stitches together with the shared yarn over, purl wise through the back legs like so. Then I finish everything off by taking the knit coloured yarn to the back of the work. Having a look at what we've done then, you can see a lovely blip free decrease at the top here. Three columns of stitches coming together. The centre stitch goes to the back and the decrease leans over to the right. And on the back of the work, the same is true in reverse. The pearl colour stitch is now centre stitch to the back, another blip free decrease leading to the left on this side of the fabric. And that's all you need to know about working the blip free right leaning crossed double decrease with setup in double knitted brioche.